We are on the road again for another GXG road trip. We are headed over to Pensacola, Florida. That's right. We're headed over to Pensacon, the annual event that's held in Pensacola, Florida every year. We're going to see comic books. We're going to see media superstars. We're going to see panels and games and all kinds of fun stuff. Yep. All that's coming up right now. Don't you know that you're a grown up? No games, no puns. Not allowed if you're a grown up. Hey, welcome back to Gen X Grown Up. I'm John. I'm George. And we are Gen X Grown Ups. Yes, we are. We are off for another Gen X Grown Up road trip. And we are headed to Pensacola. That's right. Or Pensacon. Yes, Pensacola sir. Comic Con. Yeah, it's it's a big event that they have over there once a year. It's I guess it's kind of like a small stepchild to Megacon, so okay. to speak. Yeah, yeah. I know Jason Isaacs is gonna be there, right? Mm -hmm. That's his name, Jason Isaacs and Lou Ferrigno. Yep. Somebody from our Gen X youth. Thank right? you, yeah. The Hulk. Yeah, tons of media guests. A whole bunch of media guests. Uh, there's even some podcasts, in case you guys didn't know, we do a podcast as well. How could you not know? I would, you, you never know. Well, I'm sure if you're watching this, you've been to genxrunup.com slash pod. <laughs> and subscribe on your podcast aggregator That's of choice. Right. We're going to stay there for a couple of days, see the sites. I know there's a big dealer's room there, so it's going to have, you know, memorabilia, comic books. Yep. You know, there'll probably some tech gadgets around and whatnot. Well, we're going to go and see what they have to see. Yep. We're going to spread the gospel of Gen X growing up while we're there. Everywhere we go. <laughs> we've got our cards. We've got our shirts. Yep. Uh, we've got our hat. Not hats, because I didn't break that. <laughs> there, there it is. Yeah. yeah. There it is. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the drive is over. Yep. Six hours for me, three hours for you. Yeah, I just got to ride the whole way. That was nice. <laughs> Luxurious for right, you. Right, yeah. All right, well, we're here at the Pensacon. Uh, this is the Pensacola Bay uh, Center. Auditorium yeah. Center. Yeah, Pensacola Bay Center. So we're going to head inside and check it out. As soon as we walk in the door, man, the first thing that blew me away was just the volume of the venue and the dealer's floor down here. For me, it's smaller than Megacon, which is just a massive thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can <laughs> you can fit this whole stadium inside like a quarter of the Megacon space. <laughs> but it was really nice because a lot of the local conventions like Tallahassee Comic Con and things like that, they are much smaller in scope than this is. I mean, this is teetering in that top five of Florida as far as space and amount of things that are there. There was so much just like, like prints of custom art and you know fan-made art, stuff like that. And of course, it's Comic-Con, so freaking comics everywhere. And that was a great thing for me. You know, we've got the Comic Sans stuff, so it's really great when I get to go to these conventions because there's usually a lot of the independent comic makers there, and we got to see a lot of those guys and meet and greet, you know, and even pick up a few books for future Comic Sans episodes. A lot of cool different things that I saw. One in particular that I took a shot of was this Geek Orthodox. I thought it was awesome, you know, kind of a play on words, Greek Orthodox. They uh, take a lot of uh, genre, sci-fi and stuff, and they turn them into uh, stained glass windows windows or overlays for stained glass windows. Yeah. I thought that was cool. One of the really unique booths was the crochet things. This lady, she hand makes all of these crochet dolls and all these different genres and everything. Yeah, I found a I whole lot already. of really cool custom footage. Lego minifigures at this booth. Edward Scissorhands and Terminator and Robocop and I must have picked up 20 minifigures at this booth. <laughs> I did like one of the things that you found. It was a 3D printed ship guy. Mm -hmm. Like he, he has a 3D printer and he does all this design himself and everything and he had a lot of cool ships. A lot of stuff from Star Trek. There was some B5 stuff I didn't expect to see. I know and a really awesome Orville. Yeah. <laughs> you know I love me as a Orville. Yeah that was one that I kept trying to talk you in to get it and <laughs> I'm still kind of wondering if, you know, it doesn't show up at some point. I came close many times. They do good work. Excellent work. Something that struck me really interesting is that Pensacola, the entire town, really buys into Pensacon. And this local restaurant called The Fish House, man, they went all in on Pensacon here. Yeah, it's interesting because it's the fish house and then there's an oyster bar and there's another bar it's like three businesses kind of clustered in one structural compound each one they themed differently so the fish house did harry potter really cool they did you know some floating candles and then there were some golden snitches that were hovering in yeah, air there were they had their waiters and waitresses kind of dressed in the harry potter robe <laughs> kind of stuff and it was a darker environment so that was kind of neat they were committed then over the side they had this uh, star trek area yeah again the guys were all dressed in star trek 
Trek costume. You know, they had uniforms on. They had a, a transporter room and a bridge kind of set up. A lot of that stuff was provided by the local Star Trek club there in Pensacola. Yeah, that's neat that they were able to take part. Yeah. And then the third one, it was like Star Wars. It was the bar area, and I don't know, I, I felt like they kind of missed an opportunity, I mean, to not be the cantina. Right. You know, honestly, John, I don't think it would be a science fiction style convention without some cosplay going on. Cosplay. No yeah. kidding. <laughs> they were everywhere. We grabbed a few shots here, and uh, you know, for every shot you see, there were another 30 people who were dressed up in some form or fashion. <laughs> yeah, and you know, some people commit really hard to the whole cosplay thing, and then some people are just like, yep. oh, I need to throw something on I'm going to a convention today. <laughs> but no matter what, their heart is all in the right place. Yeah, it's it's still cool to see. Yeah. Because they turned out and had a strong showing, I want to call out a couple of local organizations that were down on one end of that big dealer's room. The 501st, the Star Wars local chapter was right there. Man, they had a strong show. Yeah, you know, the 501st always does a great job at conventions. Yeah, Everyone I've been at. And in addition, the local PBS station, I thought it was really cool. You know, who do you bring at a PBS station, take photo ops with? You gotta you have Bob Ross. Up like Bob Ross. That's right. Bob <laughs> Ross, of course, why not? <laughs> I thought that was cute. And as you pointed out earlier, George, the bottom of the arena was the dealer's room, but up top around the perimeter were all of the cool artists. Yeah, and we've seen some new friends, made some new friends, and saw some old friends as well. Yeah, lots of really great artists. I thought it was cool. We saw Buzz as well as Joel Adams up here. I got to spend some time chatting with him. That was really cool for me. Yeah, and you know, Buzz is a great guy. He's a legend in the comic field, and mm -hmm. he was just so kind and generous to us. I mean, we could probably talked to him two or three times, and Joel as well. I mean, that guy's just top notch. I must have walked around the perimeter six times to see all the different artists and artwork and just amazing stuff. I know you bought several prints. There was a lot of good stuff to be had. Yeah, I mean, I, you picked up a really nice print that I really liked. It was the um, the arcade cabinet with the trees growing up through it and around it. That was really cool. Really nice. Yeah, there was a lot of nice stuff to be had at this convention. All right, guys, we're on the drive back from Pensacon. It is Sunday afternoon. Yep. George, as our resident comic book aficionado, what's your take? Well, so definitely a comic book centered convention, but the problem that we found with the celebrities that were there, we couldn't hardly find them because of the way the venue was laid out and set up. It was like a convention sandwich. Yeah. Like so, there was stuff at the top floor, stuff at the bottom floor, and then there was a the mysterious second floor. And the floor. only way to get the second floor was to go outside, up and down some ramps, right. and come in the side to the second floor. It's really weird. They understand that it's the only game in town, as far as Pensacola is concerned, as far as a venue to have a convention in. Mm -hmm. That Civic Center uh, arena place that they have there, that's all Pensacola has. That That's the facility. Yeah. There's not a better one right now. But that drove us to talk to the smaller vendors who were there for their product, their idea, mm -hmm. their baby, so to speak. So that's the facility. What about right. content for you? Well, content for me was really fun. I enjoyed, uh, we went to one panel, we went to one Q&A. Mm -hmm. We ended up late at it because of the getting to it. <laughs> yeah, we drove to, to the Rex Theater across town right. to see uh, Adrienne Barbeau and her little uh, discussion. That was cool. Yeah, Screen Queen from our 80s, yep. Swamp Thing, Nostalgia, Escape from New York, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Michael thoroughly enjoyed this convention <laughs> because if nothing else, they had that wonderful arcade area, the, all the console games and everything, organized tournaments, and they had people checking out controllers. And, and you guys and, got to play one of the tournaments. We, well. We, we've got some footage here. You guys did a, you know, a Super Smash Brothers. We, well, I'll say Michael did a Super Smash Brothers <laughs> tournament. I was along for the ride until I got knocked out of each round. It was a fun father-son It adventure. was. That was what I wanted to do for it. Like, I knew I was not going to be any help to him whatsoever and likely a detriment. Kind of a hindrance at times. I was. I was <laughs> shooting him and punching him, you know. Double elimination, and you guys got double eliminated. We did get so. double eliminated. Right. What did you enjoy or not enjoy? What did you think of the convention? Yeah, right. It was heavily focused on comics. And uh, while I enjoy the occasional comic book, as you know, mm -hmm. I'm not, you know, the big comic book guy. Right. Um, you know, for me, I found that there was so much stuff there that wasn't directly in my wheelhouse. I could, if I had time to go like all day on a Sunday, that would have been my perfect. I got Because the, the uh, crowds are thinner. A little bit thinner, right? Yep. Uh, the guys in the dealer rooms are making huge deals. Yes, they were because um, they're trying to yeah. let go of some stuff. And right? I'm not there to hunt down all the comic book artists because I don't know them. I'm really right. there to kind of soak in, see the cool art, you know, talk to some people and uh, get some cool stuff, uh, some gizmos and gadgets down in the dealer's room. So depending on you know, what your availability is one day just like a just a Friday just a Saturday or just a Sunday Saturday is crazy that's why Saturday I say a Sunday crazy. would have been enough if I could have gone all day on Sunday probably okay uh, average day is between 40 and 50 dollars per day okay um, from what I remember looking at 
uh, for the three day pass, 100 plus, then there was also a VIP option. If you're either a comic book person who is devoutly searching for stuff and wanting to talk to the comic book artist or the autograph seeker, you're probably going to want to go for all three days. If you're more in John's wheelhouse, a single day, and I agree with you, the Friday or the Sunday, yep. uh, you might be careful about staying away from the Saturday. That's a little, that's a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's our uh, look at our road trip to Pensacon 2018. Yes, sir. Absolutely. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See you guys. Bye bye. Don't you know that you're a grown up? Subscribe to Gen X Grown Up by clicking right here and enable notifications so you won't miss a thing. Use the comments down below to tell us what you think, and while you're there, a thumbs up would be great too. Please share this online wherever you hang out. Connect with GXG on social networks by clicking right here. Basically, life sucks as a grown